Hey, 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 wake up, people, because the Selgo and Haley drama has become bigger than ever. And this time, Taylor Swift is also involved, and the feud is getting ugly. With all the ways Haley Bieber has shaded Selena Gomez in the past, there should not be much left, but the reality is that it isn't just Haley and Selgo anymore. Instead, it has become a gang war, with Selgo being the part of the Taylor clan and Haley being the new loved one to the Car Jenners. This has become Taylor clan versus the Kardashian Jenners. But why is it getting bigger? Why didn't the fight end when Selena took a break from social media? And why is Taylor a part of the whole feud? A few days ago, Selena went on vacation to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico, and made headlines when a popular pop culture Twitter account called at Pop Base posted pictures from her vacation. The pictures featured Selgo slaying in a black bikini, and the Twitter account captioned it, Selena Gomez looks gorgeous as she poses for paparazzi in Cabo. But seemingly, that wasn't enough for the trolls, and they did what they always do, and they were very bitter about it. One person wrote, she gotta lose some weight, she looking tubby. Another one seconded that and said, oh, she's huge. And another one gave a suggestion to the pop star. She needs to hit the gym instead of being obsessed over pretty models. Next, the whole thing got heated and Kendall and Bieber were slammed for being mean to Selena. Why, you ask? Here's why. Hailey Bieber uploaded a photo where Kendall, Haley, and Justine Skye, you may have heard her song Collide, it's trending on Instagram right now, were lip syncing to the lyrics of the song while holding wine glasses in their hands. And the lyrics were, I'm not saying she deserved it, but I'm saying God's timing is always right. I'm not saying she deserved it, but I'm saying God's timing is always right. Okay, you must be thinking how this led to the whole feud getting heated up. Well, fans linked this song to the whole body shaming incident. Soon after, it became more controversial because Haley deleted the video from her profile. A TikTok user, at Riri's T, re-uploaded the deleted video and asked followers to weigh in and speak their minds on the whole thing. If they thought that it had just been an innocent clip or if Kendall, Haley, and Justine were sending a message to someone. One fan wrote, the sound hasn't trended since like last year. Deaf intentional. Another one seconded the comment by saying no one uses this sound without reason. People started trolling Kendall and Haley for the whole incident and were really harsh about it. One fan wrote, I feel Kendall is the type of girl that would laugh with her friends at you for breathing. Another one added, Kendall and Haley seem like mean girls who tell people they're not mean. This whole thing reached a point where Haley and the girls had to comment on the whole thing. Haley commented on at Riri's T's video and said, I never comment on this type of thing, but we were just having a girls' night and did a random TikTok sound for fun. It's not directed at anyone. Now, to give you all the details, after the whole controversy involving Kendall and Haley had settled and fans took a break, Kylie gave them another reason to worry. So here's everything that happened. Selena posted a video on TikTok where she said she'd laminated her eyebrows too much and explained how she accidentally laminated her eyebrows instead this is me i accidentally laminated my brows too much my name is selena gomez see it doesn't even sound sexy while this was a random upload from selgo kylie allegedly saw an opportunity to get some buzz from fans so soon afterward kylie posted a selfie to her instagram stories featuring the words this was an accident emblazoned over her eyebrows just a few hours later, Kylie uploaded a screenshot of a FaceTime call between her and Haley where they were zooming in on their eyebrows. Okay, now this whole thing may seem super childish to you. It does to us too, but fan speculations achieved a whole new level and identified this as a mean girl attempt to shade Selgo. Fans started uploading screenshots from Haley and Kylie's call and questioning why it was so necessary to share these right after Selgo mentioned her eyebrows. Isn't all of this way too related? Anyway, fans played Connect the Dots for another couple of hours and when things started getting nasty, for instance, some fans' comments were really harsh, one fan wrote, it's like high school all over again. One also said, not a reach and not a coincidence at all. It's super petty and it's just really sad all around. Starting to believe Rose's claim about Kylie. Kylie was quick to comment on the whole thing. Kylie went on to comment on the video from the same TikTok user who actually started the whole speculation and wrote, this is reaching. No shade towards Selena ever. And I didn't see her eyebrow posts. You guys are making something out of nothing. This is silly. Anyway, while all of this drama has already happened, there's more brewing up, and here are all the details. Selgo is best friends with Taylor Swift. 
Selgo, in an interview with Rolling Stone, said something really hurtful. Selena said, I never fit in with a cool group of girls that were celebrities. She said, my only friend in the industry really is Taylor Swift. So I remember feeling like I didn't belong. I felt the presence of everyone around me living full lives. I had this position and I was really happy, but was I? Did these materialistic things make me happy? I realized I just didn't like who I was because I didn't know who I was. While Selena knew this statement would not be comforting for some people, she still said it outright because the friendship between the two is super strong. Coming over to the feud again, very recently a TikTok video has resurfaced where Hailey Bieber is seen mocking Taylor Swift. In the video, Bieber makes a gagging face on stage when Swift's name is mentioned. Being the best friend that Selgo is to Taylor Swift, she could not stand this whole thing, and so she commented to take a stand for her friend. She commented on the TikTok video and said, So sorry, my best friend is and continues to be one of the best in the game. Ouch, that must have hit hard. This isn't the only time Hailey Bieber has been seen shading Taylor Swift. Once upon a time, a random user tweeted with Taylor's picture, Would you smack her for $835 billion? and Haley supposedly liked the post. Anyway, it's not like only Selena has Taylor's back. Taylor also unconditionally supports Selgo. Don't believe us? Well, see for yourselves. In an interview with Seventeen Magazine, Taylor said, I knew from when I met her, I would always have her back. In my life, I have the ability to forgive people who hurt me, but I don't know if I can forgive someone who hurts her. Well, to prove that these aren't just words, Taylor took a stand and unfollowed Hailey Bieber on Instagram. A Twitter post from a user called at Phoebe read, Taylor Swift has unfollowed Hailey Bieber on Instagram after all the drama with Selena Gomez on TikTok. I'm very happy. I'm so blessed. I have the best friends, the best fans in the whole world, and I just couldn't be happier. Um, I'm good. I love who I am. I don't care. I'm big. I'm not. I, would, I don't. I don't care. I love who I am. And yeah, I'm gonna be taking a second from social media because it's this is a little silly. And I'm 30. I'm too old for this. So. But I love you guys so much, <laughs> and I will see you guys um, sooner than later. I just I'm gonna just take a break from everything. Right after this, her best friend Taylor also limited her comment section on Instagram, allowing only people she is following to comment on her posts, which means no one can comment because she isn't following anyone. We all know that the Cargeners are not a fan of Selgo, but what you may not be getting is why the Cargeners would get involved in shading Taylor. Well, they obviously would because of the long-standing feud between Taylor and Kim Ye. Yo, Taylor, I I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. It all began when Kanye West interrupted Taylor during her winning speech at the VMAs. Kanye West jumped up on the stage and grabbed the mic, interrupting with the now immortal words, Yo, Taylor, I'm really happy for you and I'ma let you finish, but Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. One of the best videos of all time. The feud then has Kanye releasing a song called Famous with the lyrics, Niggas that know me best, I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. why I made that bitch famous. God damn! I made that bitch famous. I feel like me and Taylor might still have sex. Why? I made that bitch famous. While Kanye says that he took permission from Taylor, Taylor hasn't really said anything about the same, and her clan has denied all the claims made by Kanye. Everything became more messy when Kim intervened and publicly stated she, Taylor, totally approved that. She wanted to all of a sudden act like she didn't. I swear, my husband gets so much shit for things when he really was doing proper protocol and even called to get it approved. Again, things became ugly when Kim added more fuel to the fire by sharing a secretly recorded phone conversation between Kanye and Taylor, to which Kim responded with a tweet. That moment when Kanye West secretly records your phone call and then Kim posts it on the internet. The tweet basically urged everyone to keep Taylor out of this whole narrative. Since then, there has been a lot of shading between Kimye and Taylor, which makes it pretty obvious why the Cargeners don't like Taylor. Recent shading from the Cargeners clan against Taylor includes recent posts from an account which allegedly belongs to Mason Disick, has been actively body shaming Selgo and comparing her with Haley. But a popular YouTuber at Tisa Tells questioned why Mason Disick would be interested in body shaming Selgo, who he has nothing to do with. She also said this might be Kylie or Kendall using Mason to body shame Selgo. The Twitter post included a sun kissed editorial photograph of Haley Bieber side by side with a pixelated, less flattering paparazzi 
photo of Gomez in a bikini and Justin Bieber's song Yummy playing in the background. According to the private account, Gomez blocked Mason on social media, telling her younger sister that Disick is mean. No one knows what this would lead to and how Taylor or Selgo are going to react to this. Will Taylor's gang clap back at the Cargenners? Will Selgo cut short her social media break and take a stand for Taylor? Will Taylor slam Haley for shading Selgo? Well, stay tuned to find out.